Hello friends, welcome to this video. This one is three phase two pump control panel for twin pressure booster system. You can use it for uh, other application as well like dewatering system or tank to tank water transfer application, either multi tower application. This one we have used a plastic ABS enclosure. This one is a IP65, I can show you. You can see rubber gasket, rubber gasket here. It can be fit through this type four screw and uh, bottom we have provided gland for IP65 protection. All wires can be properly inserted in the panel. So I give you brief uh, introduction about the uh, spare parts. This one is uh, display card you can uh, connect and reconnect through FRC cable that is very simple for uh, replacement in case of any fault. This is Snyder make contactor for pump on off. This is CT card for current measurement. This is main motherboard MCU card and bottom you can see below the motherboard it is SMPS card to provide the supply to the panel and at bottom you can see this one is level card level sensing card where you can connect float or pressure switch so here is the connection first is a mains input ryb second is pump one output ryb third is a pump two output ryb here you can see you can connect some tank float switch and uh, two pressure switch you can connect individually uh, wire is in between so maybe you can uh, check now so uh, first pressure switch you can connect for pump one second pressure switch you can connect for pump two and some tank uh, float you can connect here so just for demonstration i have connected to float one is for some tank another one is a for top tank so i can show you the uh, operation and function how it is uh, functioning okay this one is bypass switch in case of any emergency or any card failure you can directly on of the pump through here through this toggle switch you can see so in that case pump can be directly run through contactor and you can fill up your overhead tank in case of emergency okay so this is how the panel looks this is very decent enclosure and uh, looks very pretty now i will show you the functions and uh, display functions and uh, features so this is the main display this shows the voltage of all three phase this shows current pump current and it will show according to this this is pump 2 current uh, let give me some time and uh, let me uh, start the pump so I can uh, show you the current. You can see pump is running. So this is the automation of pump running. Now you can see 1.9 ampere is flowing. So this is the current of pump. Pump 1 pressure switch is low and pump 1 current is this. Pump 2 second contactor is off and its pressure switch is also high. So second pump is not running right now. It shows voltage. This shows current. Any fault occurs, it will show in this display area. This is the pump running status. And this is bottom tank level. You can see if I uh, keep this down, pump has been tripped and it shows no water. When I float, keep the float upside, it will show right now in manual mode so i have to manually start stop the pump but you can see in the display the tank level is up now okay so this is the basic uh, display function now let's go in menu how to set the pump parameter i will show you press menu key one time so first symbol will be blink keep enter password is 505 so you can set 5 
to change the cursor position you have to use this menu key now last digit also we can keep 5 so the password is 505 here you can set pump 1 over current so first you measure the current of your pump when it is running in a normal condition and then you can add 25 percent in that value and set this over current for example your pump is uh, your pump running current is 5 ampere then you can set 6 6.5 as your over current then you can set overload of pump 2 that too you can set any value through this up down key press enter this is dry run current it will be set in percentage so 20 percent 15 percent 25 percent you can set from here this percentage will be of uh, overload you have set so suppose your pump one overload you have set 6.5 then 15 percent of 6.5 value will be set as a dry run current so if i if you set dry run as a 10 percent so 0.65 will be your dry run current because we have set 6.5 as overload current okay this is t on timer t on timer is a maximum on time whenever the pump will on so this is maximum on duration suppose you set 10 minute whenever pump will on it will maximum run for 10 minute then it will be stop this is t off timer this is used for a delay between two on cycle to reduce the frequent start stop so if you set 10 minute once your pump start and your tank fill up and your pump gets shut down then the next cycle will come after 10 minute only it will not frequently start stop uh, as your float switch keeps up down it will not frequently start stop so this is how you can reduce your pump operation and system will be run very smoothly so i am keeping it zero right now t off this is pump selection which pump you have to run only one pump only two pump and one two both pump it will run in cascading manner so here you can select your pump configuration this is for reset in any case your pump gets overloaded and it is tripped then you have to reset it and then after it will run again in dry run or any voltage uh, fold you don't need to reset only in a pump stalled protection and pump overload protection you need to reset the pump then only the pump will run so this is how all the settings uh, you required at the time of installation no other settings required you can keep enter this is in manual mode if you want to put the system in a auto mode you have to press this menu key two time so this hand symbol will, will blink you can press enter now this manual is blinking you can press up key now auto is blinking press enter key so now the system is in auto mode you can see bottom tank is full and uh, pressure pump one pressure switch was low so now the pump is running it is taking the amperes you can see in the display pump running station status is also visible pump one current is zero as pump one is off i can show you in inside the panel you can see pump two contactor is on pump one is off here also you can see pump 2 ampere is flowing pump is running and pump 1 ampere is 0 correct so this is how the system works now i will this is the top top tank float now i am keeping it downside now pump has off now again i put this float switch upside now you can see pump 1 has been on so this way it will cascade and both pump will be run in alternation one working one standby or one working one assist 
that both configuration can set in the same panel if you connect only one pressure switch or one only one float switch the system will work as one working one standby if you connect two individual pressure switch for both pump then both pump can start on the same time or at a different pressure so that configuration will be one working one assist so both you can set in a single panel so this is how our panel looks now i will show you some protections you can see pump is running this panel we have connected to our source panel and uh, the, through this panel we can do reverse phase phase failure we can do through the mcb and uh, the output we have connected to this panel now i will trip one phase i have trip b phase the system has immediately trip and phase loss indication you can see on the display now now pump has been started so immediately you can see it tripping the pump and once the supply is okay it will automatically on the pump now we will do reverse phase system has been tripped you can see in display phase reversal error okay now phase sequence i have corrected the pump is again running okay we have set 6.5 ampere as overload i am increasing the current uh, please wait when pump one current will show i will increase the power current i have increased current it is tripped you can see overload now pump 2 has been started it is also taking high current so it is also tripped in overload so immediately you can see it is tripping in any kind of pump fault either supply fault this panel provide robust protection against any supply fault or any pump side fault so your pump will keep always safe okay thanks for watching this video